what we did, we never really thought about being trailblazers or anything like that. I do believe there's a lot that can be learned by, uh, especially the younger kids, because most of us came through at a, at a time where, yeah, at my time frame, uh, where segregation was still legal. So we grew up and in order for us to compete, we were told to be 10 times better. You know, we didn't sit back and rely on anyone else because there was nobody there that you know, we could rely on other than ourselves. So I, I think that this, especially for those that, you know, like, I mean, 1965 is when I finished uh, grade school in segregation, the, the, the civil rights law passed in, you know, 60, 64. So a lot of the stuff I see today, I'm like, wow, you know, you young folks would melt if you had the type of stuff that we, we, we went through. So I feel that it's, it's important from the perspective to see that we, we had some really strong folks back in the day that really kicked butt. I never realized then that we were blazing a trail. I had no idea. You know, the whole idea of self-reliance, you know, of, of excellence, of trying to be the best, of doing everything to, you know, from a point of view of, of that I'm using all of my abilities to the best that I can. Because uh, I don't see that as much today. You know, there's so much, uh, and, and it, I guess it's not just African-American, it's a, a lot of the millennials um, almost expect stuff. You know, some of them get out to work and they want to have a high paying job as soon as they graduate. And I'm like, no, you know, you work your way up. So some of the expectations that you see today, it is really important for, for young folks, you know, at this point to, to realize that, you know, hard work, is it hard work is something that um, that is necessarily needed? I will have to confess that I, I was kind of blessed with the way I came up. I, I guess my grade school was really tough, and my my high school was really difficult. And so when I got here, um, I mean, I worked hard, <laughs> but I could have worked harder. <laughs> I really could have, uh, but I still did well, uh, you know, in my schooling. So, I mean, I was, I was here not that long ago. I mean, I don't live too, too far away. So, uh, but as far as actually getting into campus and stuff like that, um, it may have been a couple of years, you know, since I've really been and walked around. Some of the buildings that are cropping up is just amazing, you know, uh, and, and I understand there's another one that they're looking to put up that's, uh, that's near the student center and uh, uh, right now it's a parking lot and stuff. There's something that's going to be coming up over there. It's just, to me, it's amazing when I look around and the music school, some of the buildings that put up over in that area, it's just like, gee whiz. Student center, because the last time I was really in and walking around in the student center, I, I was amazed at all of the stuff that's there. So it is, it's impressive what, what you see here. I was part of the Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity, Ada Delta chapter, and I was on the original line. And, um, um, and one of the things that they did is they had uh, a Hell Week, and we walked around on campus um, dressed alike. We were wearing darshikis and stuff, and we would carry this, bl this black brick with a FIA on it. And it was silent probation, so we weren't supposed to talk to anyone. That was kind of wild, you know, just walking around with, you know, with the black and gold dashiki and people coming up, you know, trying to talk to us. You know, you guys are some sort of music group or whatever, and like, and we couldn't talk to them. And 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 that was, um, you know, so we hit the campus in 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 such a way that, you know, that and I had to tie one more to it. We did the first Greek show, you know, step show, uh, at one of the dorms near here. And, you know, having a girl just go crazy, ah, you know, it was weak what we did. But back then, <laughs> it was the first time that anybody had ever seen something like that. And that was, those two things are pretty cool. You know, if you look at um, what was done at that time, none of us really had a clue that 
you know, that this was something special. You know, uh, I was here when the first black football player was still here, Ray Bellamy. So I remember him, you know, he was student body government president. I was on the student body government, was uh, probably the first black um, representative from the engineering school, assuming they've had others. Um, so I was on that, and, and I was on a lot of different things. Um, it was, when I look back, it was one of those things where people knew me and I didn't know who the heck they were. Because uh, I, I, I'm a shy type of person and somehow I ended up very popular in many areas. Um, so it was, when I look back, it was very, it was a wonderful experience, you know, to have gone through that at a place like the University of Miami. Um, I mean, all the way through who's who's American colleges and universities and not only was I on that, but they put me on the committee that selected everybody else. So it's just, you know, I don't know. Looking back is amazing, some of the stuff that I was involved in. And so then to see that on that picture that says Trailblazer, and I'm like, really? <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm just going to school. You know, not really thinking about anything else. So.